there is a kind of depiction of the origin and the history, subsequent history, of the, of the universe. Now, it's quite possible that we live in some daughter universe of some original universe. We might live there, okay, in that particular universe. But this original universe might actually be where we live as well. I, I really don't mind. But I, I want to focus on the origin of that original and perhaps only universe and to propose the following hypothesis which might run against intuition, <coughs> common sense and so on, but basically much of science proceeds by overthrowing common sense. And I want to focus there and to say that really nothing happened. So my hypothesis is that originally there was absolutely nothing and the universe came into existence but inherited the properties of absolutely nothing. And by absolutely nothing, I mean nothing at all. So indeed, for quite a lot of this evening, I'm going to tell you about absolutely nothing. <laughs> and, and you will go away <laughs> having, having learnt um, a great deal about absolutely nothing and, and almost certainly believing in absolutely nothing as well. So what do I mean by absolutely nothing? I don't mean empty space-time. I mean absolutely nothing. Um, and the properties of absolutely nothing, I think, is that it's totally uniform. Because I don't think you can have sort of lumps of absolutely nothing which are denser than you know, other parts of more diffuse absolutely nothing. So I'm presuming that absolutely nothing is totally uniform, which I shall represent like that. I shall also presume that it's uh, totally isotropic. You, know, you can go around a point and absolutely nothing changes. Or, as it were, absolutely nothing doesn't change. Yeah. And so you can, you can see where the language sort of gets a bit, um, a bit um, complicated. And I shall also suppose that it is totally empty. Okay? No space, no time, no nothing. Or absolutely Nothing. Okay. Um, so that's what I mean. And I think that when the universe came into existence, either this universe, if, it, if this is the only universe, or our predecessor universe, the original, the Ur universe, um, if that came into existence, it came into existence out of absolutely nothing. And um, I will assert, and this is my hypothesis, which I'm perfectly happy to um, discuss later, is that when something emerged from absolutely nothing, then that something initially inherited the properties of absolutely nothing. Okay? Um, I'm not denying the Big Bang or anything like that, but I'm saying that really the incipience of the universe, which was then accompanied by Big Bang, inflation, whatever you want to hypothesize there, it, there was um, the incipient universe inherited the properties of absolutely nothing. <laughs>